I appreciate the Zelda series, I just don't love it, but I want to. In fact, a few years ago, I bought a Switch just to play Breath of the Wild well, and Smash Ultimate, which I played the hell out of. But every time I pick up Breath of the Wild, I end up only playing for like an hour, maybe two hours, and I just kind of lose interest. But by all means, I should love Zelda. I mean, it's got so many things that I love. It's got beautiful scenery, like some of my favorite games like Ghost of Tsushima and Okami, which in itself is very inspired by Zelda. It's set in a fantasy setting, like a lot of the things I grew up with, like Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter and Avatar and The Last Airbender. And some of the games are even open world, like a lot of the games I love, like Grand Theft Auto, Fallout, Elder Scrolls, things like that. It even has some really cool characters and character designs, like Link and Zelda, the Zora, and some characters from Wind Waker specifically come to mind, like Tingle and Tetra and her crew and her story in general. No spoilers, of course. And as someone who enjoys Genshin Impact, I can assure you that character design and lovable characters can kind of sell the game on its own. And none of that's even mentioning the importance of the series to the gaming industry, which is probably the thing I appreciate about it the most, honestly. The the reason I want to love it. At multiple points throughout its history, the Legend of Zelda series has been a massive inspiration to other games around it. I mean, we might not even have games like Genshin Impact or Pokemon Legends Arceus if it wasn't for Breath of the Wild and the huge impact that had. I mean, the very first game in the series was a big success for its time, and that just kind of kept happening throughout the history of Zelda so far. But in terms of gaming history, I'd say Ocarina of Time changed everything. And games today wouldn't be what they are without it. It showed both players and developers what was possible with the N64 and the future of 3D graphics in general. And game companies around that time all clamored to make their own Ocarina of Time-like game. Oh, if you're wondering why I decided to make Link a frog here? Well, it's mostly because frogs are awesome, but also because I just recently got a smooth-sided toad for a pet. Her name is Truffles, and I love her. Not a frog, but... Even decades after its release, the sequel to Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, was having a huge impact on culture, albeit in a much different way through a creepypasta called Ben Drown. This was a huge part of internet gaming culture around 2010-ish and a little bit after that. If you weren't around, I'll give you a short version of it. Ben Drown was a creepypasta from around 2010 that told the story from the point of view of Alex, a college student who recently got an N64 system as a gift from a friend. He needed games to play, so he picked up a slightly sketchy old copy of Majora's Mask from a free garage sale as one does. The cartridge ends up being kind of haunted by a kid named Ben. It's way more complicated than that, but that's kind of the gist of it, and it gets a little weird, but it's definitely worth checking out if you're into that kind of thing. Now that I've gushed about my admiration for the series as a lover of video game history, maybe I should talk about what I don't like about playing the games. I'm mostly going to talk about Breath of the Wild here because I would kind of assume that that would be the best game for me to start with, knowing my gaming preferences, but something about the gameplay just doesn't click with me. Let me quickly assure you I'm not a gameplay snob. I mean, I love interactive dramas. Games that I've heard described as not even real games, bro. You know, games full of quick time events and decision making and things like that. Detroit Become Human, Heavy Rain, What Remains of Edith Finch, all the Telltale games, the super massive games like The Quarry and Until Dawn, and you know, those kind of story based games. And I just can't get enough of them for some reason. So, with that in mind, I think Breath of the Wild just kind of doesn't hit the things that I'm looking for hard enough, maybe. The story doesn't really pull me in very well for some reason. That might have a lot to do with the fact that it kind of doesn't really make you play the story, which is fine, like, I'm all for player freedom, but, like, give me a reason to play the story, you know? The gameplay itself isn't really all that exciting for me, and sometimes it's honestly downright frustrating. I specifically hold a grudge against Breath of the Wild for the whole keep yourself from freezing gameplay aspect, because I absolutely hate those sections in Genshin Impact and Ghost of Tsushima, and I don't think they would have been as popular if it weren't for Breath of the Wild. I mean, I've heard they were around before Breath of the Wild, but it was definitely popularized around that time period. Also, the weapon breaking mechanics, not a big fan personally. I don't really like having to replace my weapon frequently. I don't mind it so much in dungeon crawlers like Diablo and Baldur's Gate, but it does still get a little tedious even in games like that. It's a big reason I stopped playing Elder Scrolls Online and don't really play MMOs in general, honestly. The atmosphere and setting of Breath of the Wild are pretty cool, but they're not enough to keep me in on their own. So from what I've heard, Tears of the Kingdom is kind of like Breath of the Wild, but better, which is probably great for people who love Breath of the Wild, but it kind of makes it harder for me to start there. I mean, the new additions to the game seem like they're pretty cool, so I've definitely thought about picking it up, but I'm not sure if enough is different for me if I didn't really like Breath of the Wild in the first place. It also seems like people are saying it takes like 70 to 80 hours to fully complete the game, which isn't 
necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it's a JRPG. I mean, I put almost twice that into some Persona playthroughs and hundreds of hours into the first four generations of Pokemon and dozens of hours into the rest of the Pokemon games, not to mention the spin-offs. But it does seem a little daunting if I'm not sure that I'm going to even like the game in the first place. It also seems like these games are best enjoyed when you take your time to get immersed in the world. So I don't think I could play it in small chunks like I would like something like Hades on my Steam Deck on lunch breaks. I'm also not really sure if I would need to finish Breath of the Wild before tackling Tears of the Kingdom, so that kind of also makes it hard to decide to play that one. Like I said, if I was going to get back into Zelda, I would have thought that Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom would be the place to go, but maybe I should go back to some of the older games. Maybe I should give Wind Waker another try because I do remember enjoying my time with that game as a kid. I just don't know if I'd want to go back to it as an adult. But I wanted to know which games people loved the most and what they loved about them and what memories they had of playing them. So naturally, I turned to Reddit. First I asked specifically about Breath of the Wild in that subreddit, and I got a handful of responses such as this one. I love the music in the world itself, but the best part of the game was facing Ganon after concurring all four divine beasts, and the scene of the four champions unleashing on Ganon. I get the feels every time. Um, I only just got to the first divine beast and i didn't even start the battle yet like i'm right before that so i don't know exactly much about the divine beast but a lot of people actually seem to really love the music and that kind of carries through the other post as well but we'll get there and i can definitely understand that i mean one of my favorite things about zelda is the music i mean i even have that this one here yeah someone said they had a memory of showing up to the wedding in a bokoblin mask don't know what that one means but this person says loved all the varieties in armor Unrelated, but I've been replaying through Breath of the Wild and I've been collecting all the armor. And because I have a serious case of always getting burnt out, I'm now scared because most of the armors are coming back. Now, I can definitely see that. I, I know a lot of people like to switch up gear and that's a big appeal of MMOs and RPGs in general. It's just kind of not always my thing. Or I just don't like it as frequent, I guess, as a lot of games do it. And there was this one that said, when you first make your way to Zora's Domain and you are ambushed by the Zolthos, how do you pronounce that? Were there electric arrows being amplified by the constant rain? That was a thrilling gauntlet that felt completely organic. Yeah, I've been to the Zora Domain, so that I vaguely remember that. I haven't finished yet either. I just love how big the game is, how much there is to do. I don't have the most time to game, so being able to come back to it and find new things is amazing. If it weren't for Tears of the Kingdom, I could see myself playing this game for years. So this person seems to be in my position where they have a life outside of gaming, you know, with a full-time job and a desire to make art and make videos, but uh, they seem to persevere through it, so maybe I could too. This person actually kind of gives me advice on how to do that. Embrace the limited time. Set small goals for you to do, and when that's done, smile and work on the other tasks in your life. Eh, decent advice. If I, uh, decide to get back into the game, I guess I'll do that. So then I decided to get more general and ask in the main Zelda sub what people's favorite game was and why. Not as many responses here, but here's what we got. This person says Majora's Mask versus A Link to the Past, so I assume those are their two favorite games and they kind of switch between which one's their favorite. They love the gameplay, graphics, music, and storyline of Majora. And they said A Link to the Past is just a nostalgic feel for me and the game that launched me into the franchise will always have a place in my heart. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like that's probably my situation with Wind Waker. I like that one the best because it was the first one I really played. This person says, Twilight Princess, Breath of the Wild, Ocarina of Time, in that order. Quick note here, the glitter was a huge mistake. I ordered some mirror powder stuff online to put on the sword to make it all shimmery, but uh, this is what came instead and uh, it didn't really work. I tried to use it anyway. Yeah, bad idea. There's glitter everywhere now, including the rest of a statue and my entire workspace. This person says, A bit of a minority take with this one, but Skyward Sword. Yeah, I've actually I've heard a lot of people didn't like that one or just didn't play it because, you know, the Wii U. I think it was also on the Wii. But I think it was mainly for the Wii U. It might have got remastered for Switch. It's available and people seem to like it when they do play it. Definitely some backtracking issues and the intro is pretty slow to get going, but it's got a great story, great characters, has my favorite character in the series with Groos, and maybe my favorite incarnation of Zelda as well. Wonderful art style and music, I actually had very little issue with the motion controls and thought that they made combat more engaging and interesting, and its tools and dungeons are just excellent. The large areas themselves also act as pseudo dungeons in a way that make exploring them fun at least the first time through. So what I took away from that one was that people seem to like different games for different reasons and everyone has their own favorites that fit them the best. Which to me shows that the Zelda series' focus on quality and diversity seems to have paid off for it really well. It also kind of makes my task of figuring out which one to start with a little more difficult because so many people like so many of them. I'd love to hear what your advice for someone in my position would be though and what your favorite Zelda games are and why. I don't know. Hopefully I'll stumble upon a reason to play the Zelda games again, but for now I think I'll just keep observing them from the sidelines. Thank you so much for watching, good luck, have fun.